hello hello beautiful people what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm casey and if you are new please take one second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you don't miss when i post a new video we are back with another body care slash shower routine honestly guys like <laughs> creating this routine well it's not even really a routine because as you'll see later on in the video, I do switch products all the time. But it was hard to formulate this video because I've been getting so many amazing products recently, trying so many different things. You guys know I always like to come with the best of the best. So it took me a while to like figure out my favorite combinations of products, figure out, you know, how I like to layer products. Long story short, now we're here. <laughs> so in this video, there's going to be a lot of options. So if you just went straight to the description box to see what products I use, you're probably going to be confused. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of stuff there and i don't use all those products every shower obviously there's going to be quite a few like higher end luxury products just because that's what i'm into right now but there's also some affordable options as well because there's so many products i'm going to explain when i would use each product like in what situation i'd use them how i like to layer them and which products shouldn't be layered together some of the products i use at night some of the products are exfoliating products so they obviously can't be combined with other exfoliating products so yeah it's going to be a lot but i promise it's going to be worth the wait it's going to be worth watching the entire video so definitely watch the entire video and i'm hoping that after this video you will have learned something and or have found some new products to try so yeah let's go ahead and jump right into it this is going to be mostly talk through style just because i wanted to make sure that i was very clear on the order and the layering and all that and we're also going to go by category and in chronological order of how i would use the products so first things first y'all know that i love to make my showers an experience it doesn't matter if i'm rushing it doesn't matter if i don't have a lot of time i always try to find a way um, just to make this time to myself more uplifting and just fun. <laughs> so at night, and even sometimes during the day, but most of the time when I take a shower at night, I like to do it with the lights off. I have this lamp um, right here in my bathroom that I'll turn on. And there's sometimes even when I would have all the lights off and just burn some candles. So it's just like darkness and the light from the candles. Just depends on what mood I'm in, but that's just a really fun way and a really like sensual way to set the mood. I'm obviously not gonna be taking the shower with the lights off today because I need y'all to see me. <laughs> but yeah, that's something that I really like doing is taking showers in the dark. You guys also know that I love aromatherapy. So typically I like to burn incense. I have these incense that I buy on America's Best Incense dot com i think don't quote me on that i'll put the link down below but they have tons and tons and tons of different scents the only thing that i don't like about these particular incense is that they burn kind of heavy when you first light it so you'll see like this black smog which isn't really good for you especially if you have asthma but the scent is amazing so that's why i keep using them today i decided to use the one that is called sensuality which is one of my favorite scents and yeah when it's burning and it gets in contact with like the steam from the shower it's just it's amazing. If I don't feel like using an incense or if I don't have time to like burn the whole incense, um, then I'll just burn a candle. I have this whole shelf of candles right behind this door and these are where I keep some of my favorite candles so that way when I'm ready to use one while I'm in the shower I can just grab it and light it really quickly. Doesn't take much time at all and it's a really simple and easy way to like enhance the experience of your shower. Third option if I don't have a lot of time and I'm kind of rushing but I still want you know that aromatherapy, I really love using these um, shower steamers. These are from my friend Elizabeth's brand called Rude by Mercury Co. These are really the only shower steamers that I use because the smell is so potent. With a lot of shower steamers I find that the essential oil blend is not that strong so as soon as it melts like the smell is gone but with these the smell is very strong like strong to the point where when I first used it it was a little too much but kind of got used to it and I actually like the intensity of the smell now. And with these you just literally pop one in the shower and obviously when it gets wet it starts to steam and you get the effects of the essential oil blend that's inside. So I keep these literally like right on my shelf so I can just grab one and throw it in the shower if I wanna use it. So if you know me and if you've been following my channel for at least some time, then you know that I love to listen to a podcast or listen to music while I'm in the shower or when I'm taking a bath. So I actually have this playlist on my phone that I call Lil Shower Playlist. And I typically switch songs in and out of this playlist, but it's just a really quick and easy playlist for me to click and play. I also have a list of podcasts that I like save to my podcasts on iTunes or on Apple Podcasts for when I'm ready to just listen to one. Whenever I find one that I wanna listen to, I add it to my list. So that way when I'm taking a shower or doing anything, I can just quickly go back to this list and find um, a episode to listen to. So I really like using my JBL speaker, which actually, 
I bought for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day, but I use it more than him. <laughs> and what's great about this speaker is that it's super loud and it's waterproof, so you can actually put it inside of the shower with you. Something else too that I wanna mention is my little eucalyptus plant in my shower. Unfortunately, mine right now is a little scrawny it's a little dead i need to get a new one but i always get questions on what plant that is in my shower and it is a eucalyptus plant sometimes i get it on this website called eucalyptus farms and that's like a subscription site so you can actually get it shipped to you once a month and then sometimes i get them from this etsy shop that i actually found from face over matter she talked about it in one of her moving vlogs and i really like that eucalyptus because it's so big and in order for the eucalyptus to actually release the scent into your shower it has to get wet so if it's smaller and it doesn't really get in contact with the water, then you might not feel it. Well, not that you won't feel it. You won't smell it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll definitely link those two places down below for you guys. So now let's get into some of my favorite body care products. Starting off with body wash, because that's usually the first thing that I do when I get in the shower. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know I have been loving the new Kosas um, AHA body wash. Kosas is just... They're just doing it, okay? They're just doing it this year with the products. So this is a clean body wash that actually, like I said, also has chemical exfoliants in it. So it not only cleanses your skin, but it helps to retexturize, smooth the skin. Um, and even though it is an exfoliating body wash, it's not very uh, harsh on the skin. Like it doesn't make your skin feel dry and scaly after using it. It also has a really nice scent. It smells like jasmine, um, cedar wood, and citrus those are like the main three notes and even though it is an exfoliating body wash i do still use my exfoliating um cloth my african sponge just because my skin is not sensitive so it can take the two i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest that if you have more sensitive skin it's a body wash that you can use every day despite the fact that it exfoliates but i don't use it every single day i do alternate because sometimes i actually like to physically exfoliate my skin and i'm not gonna physically exfoliate my skin and use a uh, exfoliating body wash on the same day so on days where I'm not using that body wash, I have really been liking the Fresh Body Bar. I forget the exact scent that I have, but I'll link it down below. This is just like a regular moisturizing body wash. So typically, like I said, on days where I want to use a physical scrub after this step, I'll use this moisturizing body wash instead of using the Kosas one. Just again, because you don't want to over exfoliate your skin. But those are my top two body washes at the moment. So going into body scrubs, my ultimate top favorite <laughs> body scrub at the moment is actually the coco rose one from herbivore it smells so good it actually has very um i don't want to say abrasive but the sugar crystals in it they're actually kind of rough on the skin which i don't mind because i don't have sensitive skin but if you have more skin if you have more skin if you have more sensitive skin you might find that it's a little too harsh i really like it because it really does exfoliate very well and it's also really moisturizing because it has like this really velvety coat of cocoa cocoa coconut oil in it so you can actually feel it like on your skin when you're exfoliating and again i only use this on days where i use the fresh body wash i won't use this in combination with the kosas one even though that's my top top fave i have two other favorites as well that i wanted to share um i really still love the necessaire body scrub and that one is actually a chemical exfoliant and a physical exfoliant all in one my favorite is the eucalyptus scent of course because i love eucalyptus and this one even though it is a physical scrub and a chemical scrub it's actually a little bit better for sensitive skin and then i also really like the first a beauty um bump eraser scrub <laughs> this one is also a little bit more abrasive the crystals are a little bit thicker it says that it's safe for sensitive skin but if you have really sensitive skin um i would say either don't use that one or you want to have as much water on your skin as possible because you want to make sure that the crystals aren't too abrasive on your skin but that one is also um a 10 percent aha body scrub so it also has chemical exfoliants in it which i really like i actually really like using that one um like on my down there area after i get a wax not the same day but like a few days later to help make sure that i don't get dark marks and things like that my skin down there isn't really that sensitive so it can take that type of scrub and it works really well to keep my you know poom poom nice and smooth and dark mark free so next up is another favorite that you guys have seen on my channel for years and that is the honey pot feminine wash but now they have a new cucumber and aloe version and it's so good you guys like this is actually my favorite one now it smells just like cucumber but it's a very light scent so it's not anything crazy and it's a natural scent too it's not like added fragrance if you don't know what the honeypot is it's a black owned um like feminine hygiene care brand and 
I just love their washes. Like, what more is there to say? Doesn't make me sensitive down there. Um, doesn't cause any issues. I've been using it now for years and I will continue to use it because it's that good. And it's safe to use every day. So next up, um, I don't shave everywhere. I only shave on my legs. Everywhere else, I actually get waxed. The only reason why I don't wax my legs is because I don't feel like I need to. Like, shaving my legs is never really an issue. I don't really get um, bumps or scratches or anything on my legs so you know I don't waste the money on waxes everywhere else like my underarms and my stomach and my bikini area I do get waxed just because it's a little bit more sensitive and I want to make sure that I'm not getting ingrown hairs and things like that but yeah the only thing that I shave myself are my legs so I have been absolutely obsessed with this razor from we the people it's actually a luxury black owned um body care brand and it was actually created for sensitive skin i don't necessarily have sensitive skin on my legs but i still like using a razor that's for sensitive skin just to like really make sure that i'm not getting bumps and scrapes and things because sometimes i do nick my legs um but with this razor i've been using it now for a few months no nicks ever the design of it is kind of different it doesn't look like your typical razor but the way that it's created you don't have to put too much pressure on your skin so it really does help to make sure that you're not like overdoing it i love it like so good so worth every penny and it's also very high quality like this is a razor that you can keep for years and years and years and you don't have to worry about you know like it breaking or rusting and all you have to do is change the blade underneath and you basically have a new razor and i also use it in combination with the sugar coat moisturizing shave to gel milk and this is a really unique product because the texture of it it's not like your typical shaving gel. It feels like a shaving gel when you first put it on, but when it gets in contact with water, it turns into this milky consistency, which is really good because I don't like thick shave gels. So the fact that it kind of melts down into like almost a liquid, it helps to also make sure that your razor doesn't get clumpy really fast and it leaves your skin super soft and moisturized. I believe you can get these together in a set and I'll put the link of course to the website down below. I also wanted to share another shave cream that I really like. This is the shave cream from Fur and this one kind of has a thicker consistency. I don't know if you guys can see. This one has like your traditional shave gel consistency, but I still really like it. This is what I was using before I bought this one. So honestly, like that's pretty much it for my in-shower routine. I feel like my shower routines have gotten super simple. I just find products that I really like and like that's it. But before I hop out the shower, I actually like to wash my face. I don't know why, I just really enjoy washing my face in the shower. So I love the You To The People, um, I think it's Super Greens face cleanser that face cleanser has literally become my absolute fave it's already like, like almost halfway gone and i only had it maybe two months and it's not because it goes out fast it's because i use it all the freaking time it suds up so nicely it cleanses your skin without over drying it and it also has great antioxidants um like all those leafy greens that are in it it's just it's so good <laughs> Literally my top favorite face wash at the moment. After my face is cleansed, I like to go in with a face mask. And typically, I don't do a face mask every day, obviously, but when I'm gonna film or if I know that I'm gonna put on makeup or if I just want my skin, you know, looking good, I'll pick a face mask of choice. I have tons of favorites, but the one that I've been loving right now recently is the Dermalogica um, Hydro Gel, Hydro Boost. I'm probably saying that name all wrong. <laughs> But you guys can see what I'm talking about on the screen. Uh, this is a hydrating and exfoliating scrub all in one. So it's perfect for people that have more sensitive skin, but you still want to have like that exfoliating effect on your skin. Or it's also good for just anyone in general who needs that hydration and exfoliation all in one. You don't have to worry about it like over drying your skin. The way that it works is you put it on cleansed skin, you massage it in, and you can feel like these little oxygen bubbles almost forming on your skin and you have to continue massaging that in until all of those bubbles have diminished and then you just leave it on for about five to ten minutes to activate and then you rinse it off but typically what i do is since that's the last step in my shower routine i just leave it on while i do my body care and again the face mask that i use switches all the time but right now that's one of my favorites so now hopping out the shower the first 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 thing i have to do is apply my body serum now again i have exfoliating body serums and i have a regular body serum typically um for the most part i use my necessaire moisturizing body serum this is the one that i'll use the most often it is super moisturizing it has to be put on damp skin so like i said immediately after i get out the shower i massage this into my skin and it has hyaluronic acid ceramides 
and a bunch of great other things that help to plump your skin and serums go deeper into your skin than moisturizers do so just like a face serum um, when you apply it on damp skin it goes deeper and it's able to target more deep dryness than on the surface so typically I will use that one but usually about two to three times a week if I don't exfoliate in the shower at all um, then I will put on an exfoliating body serum so these are the two exfoliating body serums that I have been really loving this one is the Ren clean skin care AHA smart renewal body serum and this one is the Lord Jones whole plant formula bump and smooth CBD body serum and again these are both exfoliating body serums so you only want to use them like two to three times a week and on days where you're not also physically exfoliating unless you have very resilient skin but like for normal skin sensitive skin um, I would suggest using these on a day where you're not exfoliating in the shower or anything prior to using them because they exfoliate on their own sometimes I'll also use the Ren um, skincare one on my coochie area <laughs> this also helps with dark marks um, smoothing the texture making sure that the skin is nice and even and it's good for sensitive skin and it's safe enough to use on that area both of them although although they exfoliate they also have moisturizing properties in them as well so if you're looking for something to like help with dark marks retexturizing um etc etc and you have more sensitive skin and you don't like to physically exfoliate definitely recommend trying one of these out they can be used all over so after i have my body serum of choice on then of course we have to deodorize or not deodorize but put on deodorant to prevent odor <laughs> I'm still using my absolute fave, the Kosa Sport AHA Chemistry Deodorant. <laughs> I've gone through like five of these. It's so good. I've been using it ever since it came out. Again, another product from Kosa that has AHAs, so it's going to help to exfoliate and smooth the skin. And I love it also because it's clear, so it doesn't leave any residue or whiteness or anything. <laughs> So now um, I like to put on a moisturizer. Even though I use a body serum, serums go deeper into the skin, but they cannot be used on their own. You should always put on a moisturizer on top, especially if you're using an exfoliating body serum, you definitely want to put moisture on top to prevent your skin um, from getting dried out. But today, since I used the moisturizing body serum, I decided to layer one of my faves, the new Umdia Bright Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This moisturizer actually also has AHAs in it. It has renewing fruit AHAs and vitamin C. So again, this is another product that I would not use on a day that I use an exfoliating body scrub prior, just because that's just too much exfoliating in one routine. But because I only use the Kosas one, which is a light exfoliator, and I put on the Necessary Body Serum, which is a hydrating serum, I can go ahead and layer on, you know, something like this. And even though it is infused with AHAs, it's not harsh on the skin at all. It's actually super, super moisturizing. I feel like more moisturizing than it is texturizing. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind when you're layering your products to not over use certain ingredients together. But yeah, this is literally one of my fave, fave, fave body moisturizers. And it also layers very well with the Necessary Body Serum. But of course I wanted to give you guys some other options. So another favorite of mine is the Josie Moran Whipped Cream, Whipped Cream. <laughs> The Josie Moran Whipped Argon Pro Retinol Body Butter. This is another moisturizer that you don't want to use on a day where you physically exfoliated. I mean, again, you can depending on what your skin can tolerate, but I personally don't because retinol is something that's going to help um, renew your skin as well. Retinol is not necessarily an exfoliator, um, but it does kind of make your skin a little bit more sensitive. So this is one that I definitely love combining with the necessary body serum because you're getting the hydration and the retinol together and typically i use this one at night i also still love the cantu skin therapy shea butter nourishing body cream she is thick okay she is super thick <laughs> but this is another product that layers super well with one of the body serums another favorite which is actually a luxury product again is this comforting body cream from ipara so this is another black owned brand luxury black owned brand and this when i first used it i was like what the heck because the texture is kind of weird i don't know if you guys can tell the texture doesn't really feel like a body cream i don't even know how to describe the texture 
but it's super super thick which I like so typically I'll use this one at night and again this is one that I'll use either with the necessary body serum or I can also use with one of the exfoliating serums because this does not have any exfoliating properties in it this layers well with pretty much anything and it actually works best on damp skin some people like to use a moisturizer and a body oil I use one or the other <laughs> So I always use a body serum, but then I'll follow up with a moisturizer or a body oil. So today, since I used um, the Sol de Janeiro one, I'm not going to apply an oil, but I'm gonna share some of my favorite oils with you guys. I currently have um, three body oil favorites, two of which are luxury higher end. But this first one is from Donata Skin Food. Um, this is actually another black owned brand, and it's also Miami based. This is their Hydrate Body Oil, and it's pretty lightweight for the most part, so after applying my body serum, if I don't feel like using a moisturizer, I'll just pour this in my hand and apply this on top, and it's just, it's so moisturizing. And oils also help to lock in moisture, so that's another reason why I like using a serum before using one of these oils. But yeah, this one is one of my faves. I also really love the Cler Elements of Comfort Body Oil, which is another black owned brand. Actually, all three of these are black owned. That's lit. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Cler Elements of Comfort Body Oil. It is, it smells like luxury, okay? And I also love the texture because it's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough to feel like it's coating the skin. And it leaves a very nice sheen on the skin as well. So good. And then the last one is the 54 Thrones. Um, Minona? Minona? I think that's how you pronounce it. Minona. Uh, luxury body oil. And all of the products from 54 Thrones are actually made in Africa. If you don't know what 54 Thrones is, it's a brand that's literally centered around African rituals. So all of the ingredients and everything are pure, certified, organic, you know, ingredients from Africa. So this luxury body oil, it smells so good. Like the main note is jasmine. It, it truly is luxury. And again, it's not a very heavy oil, so it doesn't leave like this weighed down feeling on your skin. Whenever I'm feeling, you know, a little bougie, I tap into one of these because the smell is luxurious, the feel is luxurious, and the texture on the skin is just, it's just luxury, okay? Just luxury. And last but not least, SPF. Yes, SPF you still need to put SPF on your body, especially if you're exfoliating, especially if you use exfoliating serums or exfoliating moisturizers like this sometimes, you need to put SPF on because those type of products with like AHAs, BHAs and stuff like that, they make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun, which can cause more dark marks. It can cause issues like just put on SPF, okay? So here's some of my favorites. Supergoop is actually, I think my favorite brand when it comes to SPS. My top favorite though, like this is my top favorite SPF product for the body. This is the Glow Oil and it's SPF 50 and it's also water resistant up to 80 minutes. And what's great about this one is that you can literally just open it and reapply it like so quickly. And it's also very moisturizing. So if I know I'm gonna be outside, sometimes what I'll do is apply a serum and then just put this on top because I'm getting the moisture and the SPF all in one. They also have two other um, body, SPF products that I really like. This is the Super Goop Everyday Body Lotion and this is also SPF 50. So again, if I know I'm gonna be outside, sometimes I'll just put on my serum and then apply the moisturizer on top. And then they also have the Glow Screen Body, which is only SPF 40, but it's still really good. And I like this one because it adds like a little sheen to your skin. So similar to the Glow Oil, like you'll see like the little crystals reflecting. So if you're gonna be taking pictures outside, if you're gonna be at the beach, this is a really good option to like add that iridescent glow to your skin as well. But if I'm being honest, I don't use a body SPF every day, especially if I'm not going anywhere or if I'm gonna be like in the house. But if I do plan to be outside, whether that is at the beach or an amusement park or wherever I'm going, one of these are definitely on me. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> I know there was a lot of products. I know that it was a lot of information. So I really hope that you were able to absorb all that. If not, go ahead and rerun it back. Listen to it again. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these products or if you plan to try any of them. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up or by commenting below that you liked it. <laughs> all of your comments and support are greatly appreciated and they help me out so much with growing my channel all the links to the products that i've mentioned in this video will be down below and yeah that's all i got for you guys i will see you in the next one bye
just start living a lie. You know we keep stick like the shot. I know I be rich before I die. They won't respect you till you try. Hey.